Alright, so just like all the stuff we've talked about Ericsson and all that, the extra little videos, the sprinkles on top of the normal commentary. This right here, it's a short video talking about Jake Vertanen and the recent rumors that have shown up online, on TV, on the media, etc. This all started a few days ago on Insider Trading, the same little segment where we brought up the Ekman Larson stuff earlier today. Because on that segment, it was actually Darren Drager who came out and he noted on the program that there is a lot of interest for Vancouver Canucks forward Jake Vertanen. He said a player like Jake could indeed demand upwards of a two-year contract around $3 million a year. Vancouver would like to keep him, but they also need to listen to offers too, which indeed was the point of what was mentioned on Insider Trading, that teams are indeed interested. Here's Elliot Friedman from earlier yesterday giving his opinion on the matter too. I think there is interest in Jake Vertanen. If the Canucks wanted to give him away, you could easily do it, but they want to hold on to him. I think a good hockey trade is the goal. Now, okay. A hockey trade. What does that mean? Well, we've seen hockey trades over the past few years of Vancouver Canucks trade activity. Hockey trades are normally just the one-for-ones. The swapping of positions or the swapping of two players. Good Branson for Pearson. That was a one-for-one. Shinkarik for Granlin, that was a one-for-one. One. These are hockey trades. And Jim Benning has gone on record talking about how he actually likes making these hockey trades. And the hockey trade idea itself was brought up a little bit more recently as well, because we kind of had the idea, based off of what the media was speculating, that a hockey trade was what Benning wanted to do with Louis Erickson, with no salary retained, with no sweetener, no nothing, which is what's complicating the whole, oh, let's trade Louis Erickson process even further. I mean, if it were up to me, I would trade Jake and Louis in the same trade to get rid of both of those contracts. But back to Jake Vertanen, if you want to talk about Vertanen in a hockey trade... Friedman said he thinks it would work, and I honestly would agree as well. Jake Vertanen, 24 years old, he's a guy who almost got 20 goals this past season. He probably would have hit it if the season was played out to its full length. But the way that Jim Benning was talking about Vertanen a few weeks ago in the pressers kind of really made it seem like the overall identity that Vertanen has within this hockey team doesn't align with what was expected out of him especially during what we saw in the postseason. So, to me, it honestly makes a lot of sense if you want to trade a Jake Vertanen, but it equally makes a ton of sense if any other NHL team is out there and they say, yep, we want this guy. If Detroit comes out here and says, yeah, we would love to take a flyer on this Jake Vertanen who is young, who can score goals, who has a lot of things to work out in his game, but who does have a very good, raw, talented skill set. And that's kind of what every Canucks fan knows Vertanen has. He's got the tools. It's just the way that he uses those tools is not to the best of his ability. It's why a lot of people, myself included, have been saying, a change of scenery would be good for this guy. So whether or not that comes true, we'll see. Hope you enjoyed this video. Sure that is Ross 99. And bye.